On this engine, you're not gonna find the mass airflow sensor. Therefore, we've got two manifold absolute pressure sensors. One is gonna be before the throttle body and one is gonna be right on the intake manifold. Okay, so the OBD2 port is located next to the gear shifter. First, the intake air temperature sensor cannot be minus 40 degrees. And this is an indication that either the signal wire from the intake air temperature doesn't connect properly to the sensor or the sensor itself is bad. This one, it's easy to remove, but for this one, we gotta take out as well the intake pipe disconnected from the throttle body. The bolt which holds the sensor on the pipe is right here and there is no space in here. Now with a 10 millimeter, we gotta remove this bolt here and there is one on the opposite side here. You're gonna find as well a 10 millimeter here and this can be a little bit challenging. You need a short extension to remove it. How you can remove this sensor from here? Okay, so here is the part number of this sensor and it will also include the intake air temperature sensor because we've got a four wire connector here. Also keep in mind that if this sensor doesn't work, the throttle body will not be available either and the car will run in a limp mode the angle position of this bolt is like unaccessible, so I will give up on that. Let's go to OBD2. Let me connect the sensor and see what's going on here. We've got the first pin from the left, 4.79, 4.74, and the fourth pin, nothing, between pin number 2 and 3, 0.03. .03 two and four, we've got five volts. And let's see between three and four, we've got again five volts. Okay, so the intake air temperature sensor is not working. That means we need to replace this sensor actually. Read codes, no pending codes, no stored codes. Nothing is indicating that the intake air temperature sensor is reading minus 40 degrees. I will first find the sensor and then take it out from here. It only shows data from one map sensor, which is that one, not this one. Because I knew when I was disconnecting this, it was giving here the error, so that's interesting. Let's see about this one. We're gonna need a T30, I think. This is the part number. Okay, we've got a typical three wire sensor. Between 1 and 2, we've got the 5 volts, 1 and 3, 4.78. Now let's see, between 2 and 3, nothing. Of course, this is going to be converted by the computer in atmospheric pressure. Now let's connect the sensor and back probe the wires. Now we read the voltage of the atmospheric pressure, 101 kilopascals. Okay, let's apply vacuum. And we can see the voltage is increasing. Release the vacuum, the voltage comes back to normal. This sensor is only gonna read the pressure, so it passed the test. One more thing to check is this O-ring here. It needs to be above these two contact points. If this O-ring is worn up, you need to replace it, otherwise you're gonna have a vacuum leak here. And on this engine, as I said, the map sensors are important since you don't have a mass airflow sensor. So basically the computer on this engine has only three values of the air which enters inside the intake manifold. You've got the temperature, the volume, which is controlled by the throttle body and the pressure. And that's why it's important to have these sensors in good condition. And make sure that you don't over thread this bolt, but also you need to tighten it properly in here. Okay guys, so this was a short one about the map sensors on this car. This car has a lot of weird failures, so I'm not surprised if this sensor is already wrong. Check out the other videos I made about this Renault Clio. Drive safe, take care, and I will see you in the next video.